reversing the labor shortage crisis. Yeah, there's a push right now to attract and keep workers for high skilled jobs in southeast Michigan. While immigration is a hot button issue, supporters say migrant workers could be a solution. Shante Passmore is live from Michigan Central Station with a look at the efforts. Shante. Yeah, just to reiterate, Demond and Karen, we are not talking about hard manual labor or ag work. We are talking about white collar jobs. The problem, companies are asking, where are the employees? Global Detroit is an organization that focuses on integrating and helping integrate immigrants into the Michigan community. Max Von Wells' job is about job creation. At Global Detroit, he's crunching the numbers. How many jobs have we created? How much funding have the startups that we've helped to locate into Michigan? The nonprofit works primarily with talent from around the world. We absolutely do have um, high-skilled STEM shortages in our workforce. Regional partners looked at international students enrolled at Michigan universities and colleges, like Von Wells. So when we're looking at um, electrical engineering, at computer science, a lot of those students are pre predominantly international students that are taking those jobs. So we just need those skills to stay in Michigan. The thinking, if the future of cars is going to be designed here, the region needs to create a pipeline of highly skilled employees. Meanwhile, Global Detroit also works in other sectors like startups and biotech companies. Data shows immigrants make up about 7% of Michigan's population. The U.S. Census reports 65.7% of foreign-born non-U.S. citizens who are 16 and over in the state are employed. At a time when immigration is a polarizing issue, supporters say this shows another side to the immigrant experience in America. We know that immigrants are playing a really outsized role in empowering Michigan's economy. And I am told there are currently 33,000 international students here in Michigan. And the hope is that most of that talent will stay here. And the movement is so big. In fact, the city of Detroit will host a conference tackling this very subject matter of embracing migrant workers. Live from Corktown tonight, Shante Passmore, Local 4. Okay, Shante, thank you.